Hey, this is Mad Hatter. I'm here on Slackville. I realize that many of you haven't seen Slackville before because it's a Twitch uh, thing for me. If you want to check me out building on this world, please head over to Twitch. You know, follow me, see what happens. We'll uh, we'll build some silly things and get up to some shenanigans. Anyway, I was building this wall and I really really didn't want to have to think about every single block and where it goes. So I wrote a tool and let me show you how that works. So if I bring up my hotbar and I hit run on this tool, which is off screen, so you can't see it yet. Every time I click, it chooses a new random block on my hotbar. So when I'm placing blocks, I just walk backwards and place and it randomly selects blocks to be placed on this wall and it allows me to put up this wall incredibly fast. I mean, you can see I'm just basically placing blocks at normal speed, but I get the nice random mix. It's not perfect, and I'm not saying that it's going to build, make beautiful builds on its own. You've got to come back and look at it and say, hey, you know what, I don't like this much stone brick here. I come over here, I click with my pickaxe, break a block, it gives me a new block, and uh, I, maybe I want stone there, and it kind of breaks up patterns. So uh, when I'm placing these blocks, I can think like, oh, I want a stone brick here, place a stone brick, or place andesite, I guess, there. Um, if I don't like the block, I just click, normal click, and it changes blocks. If I like it, I right, if I right click and place it. Gives me a new random block. Anyway, this is a tool I made. There's going to be a link to where to download it in the description. I would recommend against downloading the executable just because I will not recommend anybody downloads a random executable from the internet. However, if you're lazy and you want to download the executable, it's there. If not, there is a Python script that you can read the source code on if you are so inclined. and build it yourself or run it as a Python script without having to actually run sketchy executables from random person on the internet. Anyway, let me show you how this works. So here we are in the Git repository after I've completed the build of the Python script. In here, there is an executable. Like I said, I recommend against running executables you download off the internet. It is up to you if you want to use this executable. Otherwise, I will have a video coming out in the future on how to run a Python script, how to set up a Python environment to run this. I won't be going through what the code does. I'm not going to be helping you on that, sorry. But you can read through the code and learn yourself through other online means like I did. So if I run this executable, I get a command line window that looks like this and I get a little GUI that looks like this. The way that this GUI works is it chooses one of the random numbers in this, it chooses one of the numbers in this text box at random. So I have it set up so that there's more than one four in this text box. That means that four has more chances to be chosen than nine. So I use that to control how much of each resource I'm going to put into a build. You can make these all the same, num same number of numbers, like you can make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it will choose an equal weight of each stone type or whatever block type you have in your inventory. This number is how long after you release your button press that it will shuffle your items around. So I chose point 0.1. You can change this however you want. Uh, it doesn't really seem to matter right now. In previous versions this, of my software, this was incredibly important, but it seems like with my new version, you can kind of mess with this number. If you make it too small, it will cancel your block placements. That's why I have it as a variable that you can change. In order to start the script, you can either push this button or you can push Shift and R at the same time. I chose Shift and R because R is a key that you normally don't use in Minecraft, and R means random to me, so that is how it works. So 
I will minimize this and we'll bring Minecraft back up. I'll hit start uh, this process and then you'll see when I click it changes my hotbar around. If I push shift and R at the same time, now when I click it stays the same. If I go to my pick it stays the same. Go to my inventory, I can put blocks in my inventory and then I'm going to press F1 to, uh, or F5 to get out of this view. And I'm going to push Shift and R. Now I click, and I can get random blocks again. That is how I, I use this program. Hopefully you guys can have some use out of it. It's really handy. It really, really, really speeds up the builds for me. So hopefully this is useful for you. I know it is for me. And I've got an entire, you know, perimeter wall for Hogwarts to put up. I've got a big build over here to put up. Anyway, this is Mad Hatter. I'm out. I'm going to put a link in the description to my Twitch. I'm going to put a link in the description to every other streamer on Slackville. Hopefully you enjoy us on Slackville. I know I do enjoy broadcasting from there. So this is Mad Hatter, and I'm out.